welcome to STAB exam forum we have come up with another video on general awareness and in this video we are going to see universe and solar system 25 important MCQ okay so if you have not subscribed our channel it is strongly recommend you subscribe it and follow this uh, playlist okay so in the last chapter we have seen uh, a quick revision for this universe and solar system where we tell you everything about uh, universe and solar system with the help of concept map okay so in this video we will reinforce that knowledge with the help of mcq and these 25 mcq are very important from the drdo exam perspective okay so let's see the question so the very first question is uh, the light from the sun reaches the earth in how much time this is very simple one and most of uh, us know that what is our the correct answer yes tell me yes those who have given option 2 as the answer those are right so the correct answer is 8 minutes student it took approximately 8 minutes to reach sunlight to the earth okay coming to the next question which of the following is called twin of the earth yeah this is very simple and uh, this has come in drdo septum 9 exam okay and uh, as i can see most of you are giving the right answer it's venus okay venus is called sister veiled planet brightest planet hottest planet which we told you in the previous chapter yes so venus is the correct answer okay so venus has lot of uh, names nicknames okay so option two is the correct answer coming to the next question the surface temperature of the sun is estimated as okay these are the four option yes tell me yes uh, you are correct it's option a option one six thousand degree centigrade okay student uh, if in any completed examination if there is negative marking you should ignore these type of question if you don't know the answer but one good thing about the audio septum exam is that you don't have any negative marking so you can uh, pick any one of the option if you don't know the answer okay so that is a good thing about the septum exam okay so you have an opportunity have a, or a probability of 25 percent for these questions okay so without further ado let's see the next question which is the hottest planet yes tell me uh, no mercury is not the hottest planet uh, we told you in the previous chapter now that venus is the hottest planet of our solar system why because there are clouds which trap the carbon dioxide and most uh, abundant gas in venus is carbon dioxide so because of that greenhouse effect it become the hottest planet of the solar system right so the correct answer is option three venus don't confuse with mercury okay and moreover there is no option here okay so just note it down hottest planet is venus okay coming to the next question the Milky Way galaxy which we commonly known as Akash Ganga and in which our solar systems and everything is there was first observed by whom these are the four uh, discoverers inventors yes uh, this is very easy one if you see Newton is nowhere related to astronomy Macron is related to radio things Martin Schmidt is nowhere related to cosmology so Galileo invented telescope so with the same line you can think Galileo should be the correct answer and this is the correct answer student so Galileo is the correct answer for this question coming to the next question which one of the following planet has no moons okay this is very interesting question yes uh, these are the four option yes yes this time you are right the correct answer is option 3 mercury okay mercury has no moon as well as venus has no moon so can anybody tell me why these planets uh, don't have any moon or natural satellite yes okay i will tell you that there is a large gravitational pull from the sun 
which trap all the extra thing around these planets okay so that's why they don't have any moon on these planets okay so this is very important student just note it down coming to the next question uh, which of the following statement is correct so pluto is not a planet now yes it's not a planet now why because it was uh, have some characteristic which does not satisfy the definition of planet okay it was discovered by clyde tombaugh yes it was discovered by him and it has been given number 134340 that uh, we already know so correct answer is option d all of the above okay so the correct answer is option 4 all of the above coming to the next question uh, this is very important student which of the following is the second nearest star to the earth after sun which is the nearest star to our planet earth yes sun so the, they are asking the second nearest star yes yes all these are star sirius is the brightest star we told you in the last chapter and proxima centauri is the second nearest star to the earth after sun proxima means it is very close okay centauri is the name of that star so proxima centauri is the correct answer for this question okay shall we move to the next question yes okay so these are the sequencing type of question where you should uh, know the size but you can guess from the question this question is very easy so you have to tell the uh, decreasing size of these planets okay so as you know mercury is the smallest with the help of that information you can answer this question so wherever mercury is there you can straight away ignore this one is not correct this one is not correct so you are uh, and this mercury here it is mercury na so option 2 is also incorrect so correct answer is option 3 and this is the correct answer okay so largest planet is jupiter smallest planet is mercury uh, so uh, you must be thinking why mercury we have ignored because they are asking decreasing size decreasing size means which is the largest side and we move on to the smallest one okay coming to the next question the moon is showing its face to the earth because okay this is very uh, typical general life question so in drdo you can expect these type of question okay so every time you face uh, a moon uh, on the earth why it is so this is very simple if you think its period of rotation and revolution are the same okay its period okay every time uh, period means what which happen at every equal interval of time so its period of rotation how it is rotating and how it is revolving both are same because of which you can see the same phase on the earth okay so option 3 is the correct answer coming to the next question uh pulsar sir it is not bike here okay it's not bike pulsar is a star so what is that star which star uh, moving toward earth which move away from the earth or rapidly spinning star or high temperature stars yes yes uh, it come from the explosion of supernova you are right but uh, they are also called spinning star okay so option 3 is the correct answer for this question okay so you can see the pulsar is the contraction for pulsating star okay it uh, generally form when massive star collapse and uh, and there is a giant explosion in supernova which is the most violent uh, event in the universe okay so anyhow so this is again related to sun the outermost layer of sun is called yes tell me chromosphere no you have not listened our last chapter yes prerna Uh, yes the correct answer is corona it's not the disease corona it's corona corona is the thin outermost layer of the sun okay coming to the next question which planet is called evening star student this venus we have told you the various nickname in the last slide of the previous chapter where we told you venus has several name like morning star evening star the reason we also told you 
wheeled planet okay then hottest planets okay twin planet earth sister these are venus so the correct answer for this question is venus so its uh, name is morning star as well as evening star why because it appears brightly shortest before sunrise and shortly after sunset okay so it's called evening star or morning star okay the planet uh, which revolve east to west yes this is a typical question that i want everybody to answer yes yes i can see somebody are telling venus somebody are telling uranus and somebody is not telling anything yeah <laughs> okay so the correct answer for this question is both 1 and 2 okay this is a correct question venus as well as uranus both revolve around east to west these are only the two planet which revolves east to west understood okay this is are the static uh, gk this general awareness of geography we are uh, telling this is a static gk okay so the information you should know okay which of the following is alternative theory to big bang theory okay there is a big bang theory okay so there is alternative theory proposed in 1948 which states that universe does not change even though it's expanding over time so it's staying uh, it does not change but it expand over time so the correct answer you should uh, take it from the name itself it's steady state theory so whatever the state initially it is uh, as uh, the previous one okay so the correct answer is option 2 steady state theory coming to the next planet uh, this is again nickname uh, type of question the planet emitting green light or which is a green planet also called okay the, these are the option just tell me yes uranus is the correct answer why because of what methane so methane is the upper atmosphere that absorb all the light giving its appearance as blue and green color okay understood so because of methane gas in the upper atmosphere uranus uh, gives that implications okay coming to the next question which planet orbit closest to the earth okay these are the four option which planet orbits close to the earth so we have two option what is the sequence you just tell me mercury venus earth and mars so you have venus earth mars so venus earth is there mars is there so which orbit is closest either it it should be mars or it should be venus okay so both uh, you should uh, think okay yes venus is the correct answer venus is much closest to the earth rather than mercury both are neighboring planet but venus is the correct answer for this question coming to the next question the solar energy is received by the earth through uh, this is very very easy through you have heard na solar radiation so correct answer is option 2 radiation we will not waste time okay coming to the next question the planet which take 88 days to make one revolution around the sun is what these are the four planet yes this is very simple one if you think some uh, wittily okay so yes yes you can think of like this earth has uh, 365 days to make one revolution so from beyond earth they should be uh, taking more time so saturn jupiter and mars should be taking more time so what takes the less time mercury and mercury is the correct answer for this question it takes 88 days to make one revolution okay and which take the largest uh, uh, time yes it's not pluto it's what neptune neptune is the correct answer okay coming to the next question supernova you have must have heard this term supernova is what these are the four options yes quickly tell me this is very simple one yes you are right it's exploding star okay it's exploding star coming to the next question which planet in our solar system is nearly as big as earth 
this is again twin type of question huh? so earth twin is womb which planet it's venus so the correct answer is option 3 venus this is duplicate question okay so uh, the questioner the examiner can ask uh, in different ways so either it can uh, ask straight away that which is a twin planet or it can say which is a nearly big as earth so correct answer is option 3 venus coming to the next question which planet has sur highest surface temperature see the language has been uh, changed okay instead of asking which is the hottest planet they are asking which has the highest surface temperature we already told you venus has a is a hottest planet so it has the highest surface temperature so correct answer is option 4 this is very good question uh, this i think everybody knows uh, name the first asian country to orbit mars and we know that our mangal mission mom orbiter india is the first asian country to orbit mars okay so the correct answer is option 4 india quickly coming to the next question which of the following scientists prove that the path of each planet around the sun is elliptical yes yes kepler is the correct answer kepler told that uh, our uh, orbit are in elliptic, elliptical in shape yes copernicus what copernicus did say that around sun every other planet is revolving which debunk the theory of ptolemy okay so let's see the next question star twinkle but planets do not twinkle why yes quickly yes option four is correct because they are nearer to earth first thing and they receive greater amount of light with minor variation of intensity which are not possible okay okay coming to the next question i think we have uh, come up with the end of this session we have covered 25 questions which are very important from the drdo septum exam and i hope you like this video and uh, we uh, request you all to subscribe uh, channel and share this channel with your friends okay we will come up with more videos uh, to guide you and to help you in certain aspects okay thank you all for watching this video have a nice day